Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So excuse the fact that I am in my pajamas. Um, I just got home from work and I have something really, really cool to share with you guys. As you can tell, I am setting up an enclosure right now. Um, it, I mean, it's not the best enclosure, but I had to do a makeshift enclosure. So, uh, cause I was not expecting to get this animal. So, as you can see, I'm moistening this down. This creature does not need a water dish, um, and it is not a spider, but we'll keep that for the best part. So this is the enclosure right here. Oh, you guys can't really see too much. So let me, <laughs> all right, this is the enclosure. It's just a shoe box. Um, I don't have an arboreal enclosure right now. So it is literally just a shoe box on its side. I am gonna get some, oops, I didn't mean to shake the camera there. I'm gonna get some of my twigs. And I'm gonna set these all over. And I'm going to get as many twigs in there as I possibly can. Oh, that one's a little too small. I'm going to get as tall of ones as I can. Alright, so I have some sticks in there. Um, they're not really tall, but I will probably go out and get a few more tall ones later on. Not tonight because it is dark out. As you can see from my window. So I'm going to go get the animal that I brought home. And I will show them to you guys. BRB. Alright, what I have is a mantis. And you can see she's actually quite large. Um, she was in the vestibule at my job. So what I'm going to do is open it up. And I'm gonna let her just kind of mosey her way on out. And she's looking at me. Let's see if she'll go up one of the twigs. I don't know, you guys can't see that. Yep, she is hardcore looking at me. Watching me. I don't know if you guys can see at a better angle from here. Come here. I would like to see if she would I would pull her out with my hands but um, I don't know too well about these species and whether or not they bite I mean I know they bite but like how hardcore the bite would be can you guys see her She's staring at me. I'm sitting behind the camera and she's just watching me. I'm gonna see if I can get her to come out. Come 
Come on. Come on, little gal. Come on. All she wanted to do was climb. And now that I'm giving her the time and space to do it, You guys can get a better view of this if I just nuzzle her. Oh, my hand is in the way. I'm sorry guys, you can't see. Alright, let me see if I can get a better view of this. Alright, she's trying to climb out, so I'm not going to let her out, but you guys can see that. She's looking for a place to go. You can't see. This is really hard to get an angle on this. Because she literally just wants to climb out, not up. Well, up and out. Sort of is where she wants to go. I'm gonna see if I can just coax her over. Oop. My little wall block for the dirt. Let's see if I can just coax her on over, coax her on over. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> She's not sure. Okay guys, I'm going to see if I can get her to, to crawl on my hand. Yes, I'm wearing my sweater over my hand because, like I said, I'm not too familiar with them and how exactly Yeah, I'll show you one last shot of her and then I'm gonna put her away for the night. I'll give you an update on her tomorrow. Well, actually, you know what? She might like to sit still for a second. So from what I can find, she's just a basic mantid. Um, but obviously she's huge, absolutely huge. It's insane. I have never seen one this huge. I mean, I've only seen a few in my life in general, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on her. Alright. Oh, you can see her looking. Oh. 
That's awesome. Absolutely amazing. So I actually, I tried to stop at the pet store, but the pet store closed at 7 o'clock and I did not get home, or I didn't get off of work until 7.30, so I could not stop and get any crickets or mealworms and I don't really have any right now to be using. Um, like I said, I'm going to try and get a big tall stick to put in there so that she has something better to hang on to other than just the plastic because like you can see she's just not likened to the way that feels but they obviously are climbers they like to climb and but yeah I think that's amazing so she's really 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 cool I've never seen one this big and like I said I've seen maybe two in my entire life and they were I was a kid when I saw them so I don't really remember them too much and it was back when I was not a big fan of bugs and spiders and arachnids and things like that so um now with mantids you don't need a water dish you just spray and they will actually drink the droplets of water off of the edge so yeah, they're really, really, really cool. And I don't know if you can see the orange. All right, guys. So you can't really see her because of the container that I have her in. But, yeah, I'm going to kind of leave her, leave her be to do her thing. Oh, she's looking. Oh, guys, can you see her looking at us? There she goes. Alright guys, so yeah, um, yeah, so I really, really thought that was cool. Something I wanted to share with you guys, um, since obviously you are my fellow bug lovers. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share that with you real quick. I know it's kind of a short video, um, but yeah, she's really, really, really cool. And I'll make an update video on her as much as I can, um, because I don't know if you guys are aware, but Mantid's lifespan is actually only about six months to one year. And because she's a wild caught Mantid, I don't know how long she could live. She could live a week or she could live six months. Um, so I really don't know. I have my fingers crossed that she'll live as long as I possibly can make her live. I'm going to feed her, take care of her. Um, make sure that her enclosure is nice and misted down, do what I can to, you know, give her a better than life experience. Um, so that way she can live the longest life possible. So that way I can keep you guys updated. Um, I did catch her. So I don't know, for those of you who don't know, I do live in Pennsylvania. Um, so she is a Pennsylvanian mantis. Um, as far as I could see, the only information I could find on her was just basic praying mantis. And it is um, a female. And the reason you can tell that is because she is dark brown. Uh, the males would be more of a lime green like my pants. And um, so she has the lime green underneath her wings. Uh, but she is mostly brown. So she is a female. Um, also, you can tell by the segments underneath their body because the females are only going to have about five or six, where the males are going to have about seven or eight segments under their body. Um, so that's how you would tell that. Um, like I said, yeah, I'll give you guys update videos. I am really, really happy to have this mantid in my collection because I know a couple people were saying that I should probably start keeping mantids. Um, like I said, she is female, so what I possibly could hope for the best solution out of all of this is before she were to pass she would lay some and eggs um some egg some and eggs she would lay some eggs um and I could get some baby mantids so that would be awesome I would love to show you guys being able to raise mantids from babies and being able to see them from hatchlings because that would be a really cool experience to get on camera um, so yeah, that is my mantid. I am naming her Allie. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated. 
that's all for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Update real quick, guys. Uh, I put my sleeve out for no reason when I was holding her because she is uh, practically harmless. And not harmless. Um, she can pinch me. She can bite me if she really wants to, but uh, I guess it's really not even going to be that bad. And um, so it's not that I was afraid of her or anything. I just, you know, I like to double check my facts before I just go sticking my hand in bugs faces. And um, it's not because I'm afraid of them, but it is because I do respect their well-being and my well-being and our well-being as a couple of bug friends. So yeah, anyway, just wanna throw that in there. Okay, bye.